right around the corner and no fiesta is complete without guacamole. To help get your guac on, Patty's Mexican Table Star and James Beard award-winning chef, Patty Hinnage joins us today with the scoop. So how can we score a prime avocado at the store and get that perfect ripeness this time of the year, girl? So. I really recommend that you go to the store one or two days before you want to use that avocado. And to find a ripe avocado, you have to feel comfortable to give it a gentle hold. If it gives in a little and the skin is almost entirely pitch black, that means the avocado is ripe and ready for you. But if the avocados are still green, and the skin is not black, and when you give it a gentle hold, they're still hard, you have time to bring them home, put them in a paper bag, or wrap them in a newspaper along with an apple or a banana, and that will speed up the ripening process. Like in a day, they'll be ready. So I usually have a bowl that has ripe avocados and green avocados so that they can keep up with my pace. The moment I'm done eating a ripe avocado, the one that was green is already ripe. So you keep the train coming. And once you have a ripe avocado to make the perfect guacamole, all you need to do is to open it, mash it or dice it, and add your favorite ingredients. Okay, so what ingredients do you suggest for a great guac? Okay, so here I have some three very different takes to give you some fresh ideas. One of them is a piña colada guac. And this one has fresh pineapple, um, dried sweet coconut flakes, so you have the tart and the juicy and the sweet and crunchy. And then it has habanero chilies for a quick um, like spike of heat, some lime juice, and you can eat that with chips. And then I have another guacamole that I call a Veracruz guacamole that has olives, capers, and pickled jalapeños. You can eat that with plantain chips. So not only can you mix and match the ingredients that you add in the guacamole, but you can also swap the things that you dip the guacamole into. And then lastly, I have a fiesta guacamole that's very easy and fast to make. You just mash the avocados, add Tabasco jalapeño sauce, some onion, some tomato. You can eat that with chips or with veggie sticks, but you really can play. You can add onion, garlic, tomato, you can even add fruits, you can add chorizo, you can add queso, you can really play with guacamoles. And there's hundreds and hundreds of recipes for you to browse at avocadosfrommexico.com. And then how do we keep it fresh? Yes, absolutely. So people think that you can't prep ahead a guacamole, but you definitely can make it 24 hours ahead of time if you make it and then you cover it with plastic wrap and you put the plastic wrap directly on the guacamole. So there won't be any oxygen between the guacamole, you know, in the air, which is what makes it brown. And then it'll be ready for you. And you can do the same thing for leftover guac. Just cover it with plastic wrap and then you can use it for tacos and tortas and sandwiches and you can keep um, the Cinco de Mayo spirit going. And you can do the same thing with avocado halves. Just rub them with a little lime or lemon and then cover them with plastic wrap. Great advice. We appreciate you. Happy Cinco de Mayo to you, girl. Thank you. All right, stick around. When we